Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 31. Coffee Break Chinese. Hello everyone, Coffee Break Chinese. Crystal. We are delighted to be back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese, episode 31. And as you will remember, this is a little bit of a different episode or indeed the start of a different segment of our first season because something exciting has happened since the last time we were recording, Crystal. Is that correct? I have actually been... Well, I've been to China. I've been to China to practice my Chinese, to get used to speaking Chinese in, in a variety of contexts. And of course, we've recorded all of the content or all of these conversations, of which we're going to be using over the next 10 lessons. Tai <laughs> Bala. The problem is, it's now a little while since I got back from China. So I'm trying to remember lots of the Chinese that I used. And that's going to be the challenge of this lesson. Crystal, ni hao ma? Uh, uh, and I'm looking forward to these episodes. And that's actually a phrase that we talked about in, in this lesson. Just before we get into it, Crystal, can you remind us how you would say or, or teach our listeners? I now know because mm-hmm. how you helped me. Mm-hmm. But how would we say I'm looking forward to something? 我期待 something. 期待. Okay, so we're going to hear that in this first conversation. Are we ready to get started? 准备好了,开始吧。开始吧。Okay, okay, now this first conversation was recorded literally just a few moments after I arrived in China. I headed to China to meet my friend Hong Yu, and you'll be hearing lots from Hong Yu over the next uh, 10 lessons. But we had a conversation just as I arrived, and what we're going to do is listen to the conversation that we recorded, and then we'll talk about the language in that conversation. Does that sound like a good <laughs> Okay, let's have a listen then to the conversation, and we'll hear this again at the end of the lesson, so you'll, you'll hopefully understand everything by then. Uh, good idea indeed. But we met before. I better explain that you can only use 很高兴认识你 when you meet someone for the first time. In this case, when it's nice to see you again, you say 见到你很高兴. Uh, 见到你很高兴. Okay, I'm learning already and I've only just arrived in China. 非常好。你好吗? 我很好，但是我很累。我们去喝点东西吧。好的。你好，你想喝什么？你好，我要一杯茶。好的，您要喝什么茶？请给我一杯绿茶，谢谢。啊，没问题，你想喝点什么？ 请给我一杯咖啡,谢谢。一共多少钱?一共四十五元。马克,这次你来中国,你期待什么?我听不懂。期待 means to look forward to something. So you could say, 我期待故宫。And Gugong is? The Forbidden City. Maybe you've learned 紫禁城 对, okay uh, 我期待故宫 我期待长城, 我期待车中国在, Can I say that? 对, 非常好, 你很聪明 uh, 聪明是什么意思? 聪明 is clever <laughs> nali, nali. I've thought of something else to say. 我期待练习我的中文。太棒了。Wow, well, Mark, I'm very impressed. You, chi- Your Chinese sounds very authentic. <laughs> very authentic. Well, I guess I had a, a 12-hour flight to prepare for that one conversation. But <laughs> oh, you didn't have time to go over your jet lag. <laughs> well, yeah, that was, that was straight into it, straight into it. How do you say jet lag in, in Chinese? 时差。Uh, 
Shi ta. So how, what does that literally mean? Shi means time. Mm -hmm. Cha is difference. Time difference. Ah, okay. So the time difference. Shi ta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now, in that conversation, there were quite a number of things that we we are familiar with. You asked me how I was feeling and I said that I was I was fine but tired. Mm -hmm. And then we decided to go for something to, to drink to mm -hmm. kind of build up my, my fluids again after mm -hmm. the, my long flight and so on. What we're going to do is go through the conversation in detail and, and basically listen to each part and stop and then talk about the language used in that. Does that seem like a, a good idea? How do we? How do we? Okay, let's, let's listen to the first part. But we met before. I better explain that you can only use 很高兴认识你 when you meet someone for the first time. In this case, when it's nice to see you again, you say 见到你很高兴. Uh, 见到你很高兴. Okay, I'm learning already and I've only just arrived in China. 非常好. Okay, so I was using that phrase that I've used before, nice to meet you. So the is is actually meeting for the first time. That's right. In this case, what did uh, Hong Yu say? 见到你. So 见到你, what, what does that literally mean? 见于, see. Mm -hmm. 到 means arrive. So you could translate literally to, to have seen you. Okay. I'm very pleased. Right, so 见到你, 很高兴. 对. So I'm very pleased to have seen you or that you have arrived or something yes, like that. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I was learning from the very beginning. We went on and we had the, the pleasantries. As you asked me how I was feeling. Let's listen to this mm -hmm. section. 你好吗? 我很好,但是我很累。我们去喝点东西吧。好的。now, we've come across many sentences using that dan shi before. Mm. Um, it's the, the but, isn't it? Right. However, or something like that. So I said, 我很好,但是我很累. So lei is tired. Mm -hmm. And of course, after a 12-hour flight from the UK, I was indeed yes. lei. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, although I was tired, or because I was tired, Hong Yu made a suggestion. Can you repeat that suggestion? 我们去喝点东西吧。Okay, so in this sentence, Im immediately I, I get one word, and that's the, the he, mm. which is to drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there was the chu, mm -hmm. which is to go. Right. So we go drink, and then I'm guessing the other part is something, but something. Dong xi, something. Something. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's hear that dong xi again. Dong xi. And tones there? Dong, first tone. Yep. Xi, neutral tone. Okay, so dong xi. But Mark, Hong Yu actually said 点东西. Now, have we seen 点 before? We used 点 in time. For example, 1 o'clock, 一点. 一点, and yeah. then 两点, or 点 rather. 对, 对. <laughs> so the 点 is exactly the same as a clock. Mm -hmm. But in this case, the 点 means a little oh, okay. or some. So it's like saying, let's go and get a little something to drink. Exactly. So let's hear the whole phrase again. 我们去喝点东西吧. What's the ba all about there, Crystal? You know that because you said a lot. 开始吧. 开始吧. Let's yeah. get started. Yeah. Yes. So the ba in here is like making a suggestion. Ah, right. Mm -hmm. So let's get started or let's go and do get something to drink. It's that kind of let's almost 对, 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 对. a suggestion. So 我们去喝点东西吧. 很好. Now, of course, when you're listening to a phrase in a language that you're learning, you're listening out for those keywords. And I heard that keyword in my, my jet lag state. I heard the mm -hmm. So I thought we were going to have something to drink, a nice green tea or something like that exactly. to revive me. And that's exactly what we did. Let's listen to the next section of our conversation. 你好,你想喝什么? Uh, now that is exactly the kind of conversation we've heard many times, ordering drinks in, in a cafe or a, a tea house and so on. Um, perhaps we should listen one more time. How do you, Mark? Perhaps our listeners should concentrate to listen and find out what drinks they have ordered for themselves and how much in total the drinks cost you. 
Okay, so two points you're listening for. What were the drinks we ordered and how much was it in total? Let's listen again. 你好,你想喝什么?你好,我要一杯茶。好的,你要喝什么茶?请给我一杯绿茶,谢谢。嗯,没问题,你想喝点什么?请给我一杯咖啡,谢谢。一共多少钱?嗯,一共四十五元。Okay, Crystal, so what were those two drinks? Let's hear them in Chinese. 你, Mark, ordered 一杯绿茶. So, 一杯绿茶, one uh, green tea, a cup of green tea. 对. And then Hong Yu. He ordered 一杯咖啡. 一杯咖啡, so a cup of coffee. And the total cost, let's hear it in Chinese again. 一共四十五元. So, altogether, 四十五 that is 45 uh, yuan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Okay. So then we went on and we talked a little more about uh, what I was looking forward to. Mm -hmm. And we will have a listen to that after our break. Oh. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Okay, so welcome back. As you know, I have arrived in China and I am having a conversation with my friend Hong Yu in the airport. We've just gone for some green tea and a cup of coffee to revive, certainly to revive me after my, my flight. And then we start to talk a little about the things that I'm looking forward to during my visit. And that's when Hong Yu introduces this new expression. Let's have a listen to this section and then we'll talk a little more about how to use this qi. Uh, 马克,这次你来中国,你期待什么?我听不懂。期待 means to look forward to something. So you could say, 我期待故宫. And 故宫 is? The Forbidden City. Maybe you've learned 紫禁城. 对, OK. 我期待故宫, 我期待长城。can I say that? 对,非常好 Okay, so in this section, Hong Yu has asked me what I'm looking forward to But in his question, there's a little more than that Can we hear that question again, Crystal? 马克,这次来中国,你期待什么? So I recognize the 来, as in come mm -hmm. Uh... We've heard that in I come from China or wherever. Uh, so, 来中国, so come China, something about that. But what's the 这次? This time. Right, so it's like saying this time and on this trip to China, yes, yes. what are you looking forward to? Okay, so 这次来中国,你期待什么? Mm. So on this trip to China, what are you looking forward to? And in actual fact, I said, what ting bu dong? I didn't understand there. So then Hong Yu explains what qi uh, dai means, because it means to look forward to. And it's actually really straightforward to use. Mm. Yeah, it's a very simple structure. You put wo qi dai, and then you add an object you want to add. Okay, so wo qi dai. And uh, Hong Yu suggested uh, gu gong, mm -hmm. the, the forbidden city. Mm -hmm. Now, that's actually a different word from the version that we learned previously. We've learned zi jing cheng. And what do the, the words mean? What do these words mean literally? Zi jing cheng literally means the forbidden city. Mm -hmm. And gu gong means the imperial palace. Oh, right. Okay. But you can use either. Okay, so I could have said 我期待的京城 I'm looking forward to the Forbidden City I also mentioned a couple of other things that I was looking forward to because I really, really was looking forward to my visit to the Great Wall uh, 我期待长城 uh, uh -huh. And then I, I attempted to say something 我期待吃中国菜 I'm looking forward to eating Chinese food uh -huh. 
Okay, now in the last section of this conversation, Hong Yu pays me a compliment. And after working out what this compliment means, I reply in a, in a typically Chinese way. Let's have a listen. Um, is clever. <laughs> nali, nali. I've thought of something else to say. Okay, now in this final section, there are actually two very important phrases or words. First of all, uh, a phrase that I was certainly practicing on the plane because I was working out how to say, how do you say something or what does that mean? And uh, you would say, therefore, the word, mm-hmm. is. So literally, is what meaning? Meaning. Mm-hmm. So is is the the word for meaning. Yeah. So you can you can repeat the word. If in this case it was song ming shu shen me is. So let's hear that phrase correctly from you. Song ming shi shen me is. So what does song ming mean? Mm-hmm. And of course, Hong Yu explained that song ming is clever. And I said, Nali, Nali. No, of course not. <laughs> Don't be <Chinese>. silly. <laughs> but I did think of one other thing that I was looking forward to, and that was practicing my Chinese. Mm-hmm. So that's a new word. Uh, again, something I learned on the plane, thinking about practicing my Chinese. So, to practice. So I can say, I practice my Chinese. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Let's now have a listen to the whole conversation one more time. And hopefully you'll understand everything in this conversation now that we've gone through the, the words and the expressions that are a little bit tricky. Hello, Mark. Welcome to China. Hello, Hong Yu. Thank you. But we met before. I better explain that you can only use 很高兴认识你 when you meet someone for the first time. In this case, when it's nice to see you again, you say 见到你很高兴. Uh, 见到你很高兴. Okay, I'm learning already and I've only just arrived in China. 非常好。你好吗? 我很好，但是我很累。我们去喝点东西吧。好的。你好，你想喝什么？你好，我要一杯茶。好的，您要喝什么茶？请给我一杯绿茶，谢谢。嗯，没问题，你想喝点什么？ 请给我一杯咖啡，谢谢。一共多少钱？嗯，一共四十五元。马克，这次你来中国，你期待什么？嗯，我听不懂。期待 means to look forward to something. So you could say, 我期待故宫。And 故宫 is the Forbidden City. Maybe you've learned Zijincheng. Okay. Uh, Can I see that? Um, is clever. <laughs> nali, nali. I've thought of something else to say. 我期待练习我的中文。太棒了! Okay, so I have now arrived in China. I've met my friend Hongyu and we have had our first Chinese conversation. And over the next 10 lessons, you're going to be hearing more conversations that we've recorded in China with Hongyu, his friends and the other people that we meet uh, as we're out and about. 
Of course, you can access all the transcripts and then lesson notes for these lessons, along with the video versions and the bonus audio materials. And what we're doing in the bonus audio materials for these lessons is practicing some of the phrases and also reviewing some of our language from previous lessons. You can find out all you need to know about the bonus version of Coffee Break Chinese at coffeebreakchinese.com. Don't forget, you can check out the Coffee Break Chinese Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash coffeebreakchinese. And we're also going to be putting some content filmed in China on our YouTube channel. That's the Coffee Break Languages YouTube channel. So just search for Coffee Break Languages on YouTube and you'll find us there. That's it for this lesson. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you once again for tuning in and we'll be back again soon. 谢谢,再见! You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>